Geeks, Tim Tibbetts with MajorGeeks.com. And today we're looking at the first large update to Tweaking.com's Windows Repair version 4. As you can see, there's a few different things here, additional tabs, a uh, new start screen with the, where you can jump right to the repairs if you don't want to do these optional steps. And a very, very important reminder right here to reboot to safe mode. Please do that. You can click here to do so, or you can restart your computer, hold down the F8 key and choose safe mode with networking. Because your computer is loaded everything, drivers, everything that's in startup, it's gonna take a lot longer to run the repairs if you don't get into safe mode. So you can run Windows slim down. So please be sure to do that. The other steps is explained a little bit and you'll notice right here there's a help file. You can open the help file and it jumps right to where you are at every point. So if you don't understand the proper power reset, take a minute and read it. I'm not gonna lie to you, I've yet to ever run any of these steps. But for safety, he wants you to take a look at these. Once again, just hit help at any point, check file system and it explains how it could affect you. And your step four. Once you get past step four, you have your backup, always backup. Only takes a second. There you go. Permissions back up if you're playing around with permissions and system restore. And that one actually became a pro feature. Again, the weird thing about Windows Repair is we'd probably call this freemium, but it's a little misleading because Windows Repair and all the repairs that ever came with it were free. And he used to accept donations. And instead of just accepting donations and doing nothing in return, the plan was to add professional features and not only to be able to say thank you for donating and helping him improve the program, improve all the repairs that everybody gets to use as well as giving you some extra features. As you can see, some of them are firewall cleanup, unhide hidden files, restore default printer ports, uh, missing package files, reg cleanup, and there's some tools here that don't have anything to do with repairing your computer, which you're here for. Your system tweaks for performance, an enhanced Windows disk cleanup, that's been updated, uh, service manager, trusted installer, manage users and groups, etc., etc. The F8 boot menu. And of course there's your settings, start with Windows. There's other things under here where you keep your log, command.exe options and logo picture. So if you're using this at a shop, you can put your own company picture in there as a pro feature. But let's get down to what it does for free. Here is the new screen you will come to if you jump to repairs or go through the optional steps. As you can see, you have open repairs, but instead of just let's scan everything, you have presets. A lot of people will take Windows Repair, run it, and then say, geez, it's taken eight hours. Well, if you know you're looking to clean up after malware, you can click that. Now you have everything set up for you the way you want it. I think registry permission is one of the longer ones to run. So if you don't know what you're doing, just run it as it is and let it go. Uh, optionally, as you can see, since he's done all the work for you under the malware, you can uncheck a few if you're confident, for example, your Windows firewall is running correctly. Uh, another pro feature is you can run a custom script and uh, apply system tweaks when you're done and restart shut down. I believe also another thing you can do is if we go back here to these, you can write your own script as a tech, figure out what you typically want to run and then add in your own custom presets for repairs for like networking or whatever kind of other issues you run into. So once again, you just want to decide which one of these you want to run so you're not sitting around waiting for hours and hours for it to run, which again, don't forget start in safe mode. That's one of the other big problems. So common repairs would probably be the one most people are using. So as you can see, it's going to cover a lot of the stuff, registry permissions, file permissions. It's looking for the, the known most common problems people ask to have repaired and that is quite simply what this preset is for so there you go and once you get to where you want to be we'll show you quickly how it runs let's say um, do Windows update and we're just gonna run it I'll uncheck a couple and I'll probably uh, pause it till it finishes and wrap up the video all you have to do now is click on start repairs when you're done you'll have a log file and you'll have repair info here so let's go over to repairs and you click start repairs. I just want to show you that as it's running, a lot of stuff comes up on the screen. People see this stuff popping up and occasionally you will see errors. Wait for it and you'll see a couple show up every here and there. The errors are not errors. They are errors that the program is looking to 
run something or repair something that either isn't running or vice versa. So it's not a repair on the program, just that it's not seeing what it's looking for. So don't really consider it much of an error. As it's running, as you can see, you have steps one through eight down here that it's going through. And a little other information like memory being used, drive right, etc. CPU usage, as you can see, the Windows Repair is going to go to town, use every little bit it can to get this done as quickly as possible. So we are job one of eight, 99%. So it's moving right along. We'll give it a second here and pop back in. And just to jump back in again real quickly, I don't know if you caught it or not, if I stopped it, a little window popped up over here, said Windows Firewall is disabled, etc., etc. Don't touch those windows. Don't touch these windows. Matter of fact, while this is running, you're better off walking away. Do not be concerned about little things popping up here. Let it do its thing. Just because some people get a little paranoid about it. Hmm. And we should be pretty close to getting near the end of this here, so... Once it's finished, it will offer to reboot. Again, as you remember, you could have set that up to reboot on your own. Uh, otherwise, there it is. You can restart when it's done, and hopefully everything on your machine will be fixed. And that is about it. Now, if it's not fixed, again, the nice thing about these new micro repairs is, what do we just do? Windows update? So we know we did this. We could, If we didn't fix a problem, you can come back now rather than run this thing for hours and hours and hours. Work your way down the line. That's not my problem. That's not my problem. This was run. When Internet Explorer, I got a problem with that. It didn't run that. That's not my problem. That was run. That was run. Ah, my start menu icons are screwed up. And you can go down here and just take a few minutes and uncheck everything that's been run and read the ones that weren't run and see if it matches your error. This will get you down to figuring out what your problem is and getting it repaired faster than it ever could before. Again, otherwise to repair everything on your re computer and reset everything, take hours and hours. But again, remember that safe mode. So that is about it. Version four has a lot of new pro features. I guess if you are version three, there is everything that was in version three for pro is still included in your license. And there's, I guess there's a discount if you upgrade to four from three to get the new feature, so it's at a discounted price. So I think he's being pretty fair with it. Uh, I like the new repairs. I think this is one of the things that was lacking to really speed things up. And that about covers everything. I hope I was able to help you. We thank you as always for watching. I'll put a download link below to download Windows Repair. And hopefully we'll see you next time.